Let's give it up for the great Harasha Ramirez! Hey, uh, give, it up, give it up for yourselves for being here tonight. Um, I know, a last minute change. The thing is, I'm actually relieved that the show's been moved here because it was originally titled, uh, was it Remember the Alamo? Which, for those that do want to remember the Alamo, that means they want revenge against Mexicans. So I was like, oh crap, what's gonna happen to me? But uh, it'll, it'll be okay, you guys look like a friendly crowd. Uh, and yes, I am Mexican, although a lot of times I get this from people. They'll, they'll come up to me and they'll go, uh, are you Greek? I'm like, no. Are you Italian? No. And then it always ends with this. You're not Mexican, are you? <laughs> like, what the hell does that mean? This is what that sounds like to me. Do you have a cold? No. Do you have a fever? No. You don't have AIDS, do you? <laughs> Get away from me, I don't want to catch Mexican. <laughs> so anyway. Now, are there, are there any other, uh, any other Latinos, any other Mexicans here tonight? Anybody else? Oh, there's a few. Woo, all right, good. Again, <laughs> I like that you're pointing them out, like you're outing them. <laughs> here he is, get him! <laughs> Immigration, right this way, right this way. I don't know, I don't know why, but we seem to be like the only group of people that do this. Whenever you get two Mexicans in the same room, we like to do what I like to call a Mexican pissing contest. What it is, is we try to figure out who is more Mexican than the other. I don't know why we do it, but we do. And it always starts the same way. It always starts with, do you speak Spanish? And if you say no, you're disqualified. You don't count. But if you say yes, it then moves into like a special skill section. It becomes a like, all right, all right. Have you ever worked on someone's car? Not for money, but for beer? <laughs> all right, me too. Question two. Is your belt buckle bigger than your fist? All right, question three. Have you ever stood outside a Home Depot for work? You have, I declare this Mexican off a tie, sir. Now, not too long, I do have a brother-in-law that works in construction, and uh, he actually asked me to go to Home Depot and pick up a couple of day laborers. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but if you haven't, do it, it's a shitload of fun. All you gotta do is you gotta drive to Home Depot around like seven in the morning, roll down your window and shout, who can do drywall? <laughs> you will have 75 guys run to your car. And as they run, you can actually hear the chariots of fire theme. So I had to pick two, right? Um, the way I, I you know, weeded them out was uh, I picked the guy who could tap dance and the guy who sang Lady Gaga's Born This Way. So, long story short, good. Again, I like that you're pointing them out like you're outing them. Here he is, get him! <laughs> Immigration, right this way, right this way. I don't know, I don't know why, but we seem to be like the only group of people that do this. Whenever you get two Mexicans in the same room, we like to do what I like to call a Mexican pissing contest. What it is, is we try to figure out who is more Mexican than the other. I don't know why we do it, but we do. And it always starts the same way. It always starts with, do you speak Spanish? And if you say no, you're disqualified. <laughs> you don't count. But if you say yes, it then moves into like a special skill section. It becomes a like, all right, all right. Have you ever worked on someone's car? Not for money, but for beer? <laughs> all right, me too. Question two. Is your belt buckle bigger than your fist? Question three, have you ever stood outside a Home Depot for work? You have, I declare this Mexican off a tie, sir. Now, not too long, I do have a brother-in-law that works in construction, and uh, he actually asked me to go to Home Depot and pick up a couple of day laborers. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but if you haven't, do it, it's a shitload of fun. 
All you gotta do is you gotta drive to Home Depot around like seven in the morning, roll down your window and shout, who can do drywall? <laughs> you will have 75 guys run to your car. And as they run, you can actually hear the chariots of fire theme. <laughs> so I had to pick two, right? Um, the way I, I, you know, weeded them out was uh, I picked the guy who could tap dance and the guy who sang Lady Gaga's Born This Way. So, long story short, I, mean, I picked up two strange men, they got in my car, we drove away, no problem. You pick up one prostitute and the police swarm your vehicle. So what I'm getting at is, if there are any prostitutes here tonight, then if there are, don't be ashamed ladies, we all have to make money. See? It's all right. How do you think I paid for college? What do you think, I took out loans? Please. I can't even eat peanut butter on bread anymore. I'm just not used to it. So anyway. The point I'm getting at is this. If you're a prostitute, don't dress up like one. Dress up as a day laborer. You can get into anybody's car with no problem. That's all I'm getting at. So anyway. So I'll tell you a little bit more about myself. My uh, day job is, uh, I, I work at a radio station. And I know you guys are all thinking, this magazine model is wasting those good looks on the radio? You weren't supposed to laugh, that's not cool. You guys are being jerks. Um, actually, I started off working at a country station, US 99, I don't know if you guys have ever listened to any, any country listeners here tonight. Uh, yeah, woo! All right, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, now the thing is, country listeners have a, you know, they have this reputation of being very stupid people. And that's absolutely true. Uh, actually, I encountered a guy and he said this to me, he goes, Oh man, I'll tell you what, man, I like listening to your station, but uh, I got a four-year-old daughter, man. I ain't seen her in five years. <laughs> what? Yeah, man, I got a four-year-old daughter, man. I ain't seen her in five years. Anyway, that guy did my taxes this year and I'm being audited, so uh, avoid that guy. He's not cool. But uh, the station I work for now is, uh, I, I work for... This mic keeps going, there we go. I work for Power 92, hip hop station. You guys are hip hop listeners here? All right, cool. <laughs> All the way. Number one in the streets of Romeoville. Um, if you ever listen to the station, uh, I, you know, you'll hear me in the commercials. I'm the guy that says, this hour is being brought to you by whatever, Mongo McMichaels. And whenever I say that in front of an audience that listens, they all say the same thing. They all go, oh. Which roughly translated means, that's not what I thought he'd look like. <laughs> I thought he'd be a little taller. Uh, but, you know, I get to meet a lot of famous people at the station, and not too long ago I got to meet Fantasia. And I don't know if you guys like Fantasia, I do, I think she's 